I'm joined by Sourabh Walker. He's all the way in Pune, India, where he's working on his cricket academy. He's a performance analyst, originally from Mumbai. He has been in the business for well over a decade, working with the Board of Control for Cricket in India, the Mumbai cricket team, and IPL franchise, the Rajasthan Royals, who incidentally are the first winners of the Indian Premier League in 2008. Sourabh was also part of the Ghana Amazon Warriors management setup for the last two seasons, working alongside the head coach, Johan Bota. Now, the IPL starts this weekend, not in India, but in the United Arab Emirates. Surab, I'm sure that you're looking forward to the next months of cricket action as the, you know, the eight franchises go head to head. Yeah, I mean, uh, when it comes to IPL and when, especially when it comes to T20 cricket, uh, the first thing comes in your mind is IPL. Uh, uh, the match winners, the best players, uh, in the world, they come together and they give their best. So, you know, it is always uh, exciting cricket, uh, uh, you can see there. Yeah. Um, as I mentioned, the tournament not in India this year, but in the United Arab Emirates. How, how disappointing is that from an Indian perspective, you know, as a fan looking on from the game as well? Uh, see, uh, as, as the, the, there was uh, no cricket for last six months and, uh, you know, the, then you get IPL uh, shifted to UAE. Uh, it's a pretty disappointing uh, thing for the uh, Indian crowd. Uh, but you know, uh, the best thing is it's happening and uh, we can watch it live on TV and we can see the best cricket. Uh, but the, but the uh, second thing is, uh, you know, you won't, teams won't get local support, local crowd, local city support. And here in India, kids are very exciting, uh, you know, to go uh, to the stadium and watch their heroes play live and get motivated through them and they start playing cricket uh, after watching them so you know these things uh, you know going to be uh, misplaced this year right we just had a cpl here in in the west indies where you know we had games without uh, crowds do you see that impacting yeah. the quality of play in the ipl no crowds at all uh, I think so. I mean, you know, few few players need that motivation. They need that crowd support uh, to keep them going. Uh, you know, they take that as a challenge. So there won't be, uh, you know, few few players will be missing that challenge uh, uh, in the Dubai uh, without crowd. Yeah. How, how different um, are the conditions in India compared to the United Arab Emirates? And and what do you think would be key to the franchises doing well in this tournament? See, I think when they were playing in India, uh, uh, we play across eight cities and uh, all the eight cities have different, different condition, different pitch condition, different pitch condi uh, uh, weather condition. Uh, so they, they know how to adapt uh, to those conditions, uh, uh, even if it comes to uh, UAE. And uh, all the international players, they have played enough of, enough of cricket in Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Sharjah. I mean, they have played in PSL, they have played in T10 League or they must have played uh, international cricket uh, against Pakistan in Dubai. So, uh, they are aware of such conditions. Uh, I mean, the, if you look at Sharjah, Sharjah is a bit smaller as compared to Dubai Stadium and Abu Dhabi Stadium. Uh, uh, you can expect high scoring games at Sharjah, but when it comes to uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, there's a wind factor which, you know, the wind wind is uh, wind keeps coming from one side, uh, from the one end. I, as you get to see in Barbados, right. uh, that wind factor, that uh, wind factor you can see at uh, Abu Dhabi. And uh, Dubai, I, I guess it, it, it is also a big stadium as compared to Sharjah Stadium. So, uh, you know, um, uh, that they have to assess that condition and they have to um, manage that well. And uh, if you if you look at uh, statistically wise in Abu Dhabi, Dubai or Sharjah, so most of you know Pakistanis have played there uh, or PSL have been uh, played in, in such uh, venues. And you haven't seen uh, big scores in last five overs when it comes to uh, PSL or uh, other cricket when it comes to Pakistan playing in on such venues. But now it's uh, uh, IPL and uh, it's without without them. So I guess you know a uh, key for them is to score as much as runs in last five overs and be on the top. All right. Um, part of the IPL plan, like all other leagues, has been to expose the talents. We have seen over the years a lot of exciting young Indian batsmen and bowlers coming through the system. Um, who are some of the new ones that you can look forward to uh, this uh, season of the IPL? 
yeah see there are always always uh, india is all about new upcoming talents and they've been getting chances uh, in right. ipl so there are few names uh, like uh, in csk uh, you will find rituraj gaikwad in delhi daredevils you will find tushar deshpande a fast bowler who bowls uh, almost 140 145 yeah. uh, is is express fast bowler from from mumbai uh, then you have yashasvi jaiswal uh, the under 19 star from he's also from bombay he's also from mumbai yeah. Uh, and then you have the Devdatta Padikal from Karnataka, uh, and then you have uh, Ravi Bishnoi who is playing for Kings. So uh, all these uh, new talent, upcoming talents, uh, is to look for. Yeah. You had a stint with the Rajasthan Royals as part of their management setup. How was that experience like being part of the the, the biggest T20 league in the world? Yeah, I was I was lucky enough. I, I would say I was lucky enough to be a part of uh, Rajasthan Royals for three seasons, and especially when Shane Warne was there, and yeah. uh, being being with Shane Warne, address, uh, sharing dressing room with Shane Warne, uh, the way he makes his strategies, the way he uh, lifts the team up, the way he motivates the team, the way he thinks uh, about the uh, about the game. So it's a lot of uh, uh, it was a learning process for me, and uh, uh, you know I, I still I use uh, those incidents. Uh, those experiences uh, in my professional career. Yeah. So the league gets on the way this weekend. Um, two of the biggest teams, uh, CSK and Mumbai Indians, going head to head. How do you see that one going? See, when it comes to IPL, it is always about MI and CSK. Yeah. Uh, if you have seen uh, last. Uh, Last ten years of uh, IPL, it is all about CSK and MI. Uh, uh, if you see head to head, MI has MI has an upper hand, uh, but uh, MI is going to play in Dubai, and MI never uh, won a won a game in Dubai. I think when uh, that's their uh, record in Dubai. Uh, so uh, I think that would be their jinx. There, they'll be looking to uh, come out of that jinx. Uh, but uh, when it comes to CSK, uh, CSK, I think they they'll miss out big players like Reina. I mean, I don't know how they will balance their side yeah. without Reina. They've been playing. I I I don't remember a single game they played uh, without Reina. So this will be their, I guess, first game, uh, and all that is also opener against Mumbai Indians. So that would be the uh, difficult task uh, to replace Reina because I think MS use Reina uh, as per the situation. So they right. will find it difficult to. Uh, manages batting order, but even uh, for MI side, I think uh, Malinga is also a big loss. So it will be a, a good battle for for both the teams. Right. I know. Finally, I know you as a performance uh, analyst, you are looking forward to quality performances from these teams. Um, you'll be looking for technical deficiencies and, and stuff. But I must ask you, um, any favorites for you for this one? Uh, uh, to to leave the title. Correct. <laughs> Probably two teams uh, in the final. Uh, two teams. See, uh, see, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to take Mumbai and CSK uh, and names. Right. But this uh, this time, I, I've, I've gone through uh, uh, many teams combinations, and I feel uh, Rajasthan and Delhi is looking stronger. So I think one of the team will make it uh, in the finals uh, to play either against CSK or MI. That's what my gut right. feeling is. Right, and you must be excited as well that. Some of the players you work with in the Ghana Amazon Warriors, Shopin Rutherford, Kimo Paul, and Shimron Hetmyer, they are they are having the opportunity yeah, to yeah. play in the IPL as well. Yeah, yeah. so uh, uh, now Hetmyer and Kimo is with uh, Delhi Capitals, and Shopin Rutherford moved to Mumbai Indians, and uh, uh, all three are exciting talent. I mean, uh, uh, when it comes to T20, you look forward uh, to such players, such power hitters, and the the kind of variation which Kimo Paul has. I think it will suit suit the conditions in uh, uh, Dubai. Good. So, Rob, thank you very much for sharing your time with us. Same here. Thanks. Good.